G'day guys, it's Ben again here to bring you another video and today we're going to make a Dark Ages style apron dress to go with the kirtles we've already made. G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of reviews into other people's gear, lots of DIY videos into medieval style furniture and also costuming and clothing. Okay, so, so if you're new here you might want to consider subscribing. Alrighty, so Today we're looking at an apron dress. To my knowledge, and please correct me if I'm wrong, there isn't a lot of historical data and genuine historical finds that relate to the earlier period of the Dark Ages, by which I mean sort of 6th, 7th and 8th centuries uh, in terms of apron dresses. Um, my understanding is because that these were often made out of linen, therefore being a natural fiber and because this happened 1500 years ago, somewhere between 1200 and 1500 years ago we've now lost most of those genuine historical finds and they simply don't survive what we do have is uh, effigies on tombs some illumination in manuscripts some descriptions but really we don't have a whole lot to go on so um, my, my uh, to my knowledge we have around five or six genuine different types of apron dress which seem to apply at different points of the Dark Ages which again tend to go between sort of the 5th and the 11th century. So because we're talking, you know, 600 years or so of evolution, it's not surprising that fashions change and as new fabrics come in, uh, there's changes to sewing patterns and that kind of thing. Okay. Alrighty, let's not make this too complicated. Um, you need a couple of different measurements to make this one work. Alright, basically you're looking at your chest measurement and also how long you want the dress to be. You're going to need some shoulder straps and you, I use on this particular dress some lacing on the sides. Alright, alrighty. so um, I'm making this dress for my girlfriend and I'm simply looking at a, a relatively simple dress. I realize this is a bit contentious as to whether or not this is historically accurate. Uh, certainly suitable for those into uh, role playing games, that kind of thing. There's, this type of dress is worn across medieval reenactment. How historically accurate it is, you know what, I'll let you guys argue that point. And you know what, if you've got um, feedback for me, I'll gladly take it. Alrighty, let's get into it. Everything's marked out. I'm not exactly sure how well you guys can see this. On these two are the two panels. Now I'm cutting them at 45 by 90 centimeters each. Uh, that's to suit my girlfriend's sizes. I've then got two rows here of one meter by 12 centimeters, and they are going to be cut into the the um, lacing and so on on the sides and behind the two panels the front and rear panels will be the shoulder straps and they are cut at 12 centimeters by 45. This makes for a very efficient use of fabric I tend to find I like to start apron dresses by sewing the shoulder straps and then I can simply put those to one side. There's no more detail with them and they just get simply go onto the back panel. Next I'm just going to make the um, piping, I guess, where the lacing is going to go into down each of the side panel, uh, down each of the front and the rear panel. All I'm doing is I cut these two in half, so that's roughly five or six centimetres wide. Then they're folded over twice and that should be roughly a centimetre wide. It doesn't really matter whether it's a centimetre or not. 
and then um, so that is 10 millimeters so that's roughly about an eighth of the uh, correction that's an eighth roughly a third of an inch there we go Now made all of the component parts, the shoulder straps, the front and the rear panels, the um, lacing and also the, the piping so to speak. Now what I want to do is I want to add a, a decorative trim onto the bottom of the apron dress. I realise this kind of trim isn't necessarily very historically accurate, I get that. Um, simply making this dress for my girlfriend for events and that kind of thing and that's going to be fine for, for the use of this particular dress. These are the pieces of piping that I've been referring to and we're just turning it into like lacing holes for the lacing. I'm spacing them at five centimeters or roughly two inches apart. When they get sewn into the seam they're going to be quite strong. And what this does is it allows the wearer to give the dress a bit of shape. Alrighty, so very simple apron dress, probably from an earlier period, around sort of 9th, 10th centuries. Very easy project to do and would be consistent across uh, a whole variety of Western European cultures from uh, Vikings through Saxons through uh, Celts possibly and also Irish. Alrighty guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share and I will catch you in my next video.